close the previous sketch editing. So click on this OK, or you can select Exit Sketch button. Select the second sketch, Edit Sketch. And you need to use the center line. And this sketch is symmetric about the center. So first, I want to select this center line and then make it vertical. I want the sketch to be symmetric about this origin point. So I want to add. So I select the center line and select this origin point and select coincident. OK, and then this line turns to black. That means this line is fully constrained. It, can, it cannot move. And this has to be horizontal. So select this baseline horizontal. And I want that to be a line in the middle. So I want I want to select this baseline and also select the origin point while pressing the control key. So both line and points are added in the select entities. And you select midpoint. If so, then this will be symmetric. And you want this to be vertical. Well, this thing happens sometimes. The reason is that this line, the, uh, this constraint is automatically added. And also this constraint is automatically added because this line now almost like perpendicular to that. So system automatically adds such constraint. So you have to remove that constraint. So click on that and hit the delete key and delete those one and just adjust it to be the closest shape. OK, so change the closest shape before going further. This line has to be horizontal. And this has to be vertical. And these two lines has to be aligned. So press the control, select this line, select this line together and select collinear. And this line, the vertical line, and that's also a vertical line, and that needs to be symmetric about this center line. So select this line and that line, and the symmetricity is about the center line. So select the center line as well while I'm pressing my control key. So three lines are now added, and one of them is a center line. Then there's a symmetric relation. So select the symmetric, and now it becomes symmetric about that. And as I move it, we, we can see that this arc is not tangentially connected to the line. So we need to add a tangency constraint. So select while pressing the Control key again. Select this line, select the arc, and choose the tangent. Same on here on the left hand side, select the line, select the arc, tangent. And now the circle and this arc has to be concentric. So select while pressing the control key, select the circle, select the arc, there's a concentric. Now, of course, we haven't added dimensions yet. So we haven't specified the size yet but it maintains its regular shape. Even if I move points and lines, next step is adding dimensions, which will be a next step. So I'm going to close my sketch by choosing this OK button.